Okay, so here we have our last lesson for circles is the standard equation of a circle. And so the standard equation of a circle is as if we did Pythagorean theorem there and we had the two sides, but it is just the center of the circle, so our xy value of the center of the circle gets plugged in for h and k, and then the radius is squared. And so if it gives us the center of the circle, that means this is hk, all we have to remember, and then it is our radius. And so we just plug those three numbers into our equation of the circle. x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 1 third squared. And then we simplify. x minus 0 just becomes x squared plus y squared equals 1 ninth. And that is the answer. If we have numbers, it's the same thing, so hk, so x minus, and this is a negative 3, so I do put minus from my formula, and then negative 3, because that's what number they gave me, and then y minus negative 5 equals 80 squared, and then I simplify, 2 negatives makes a positive, so x plus 3 squared plus y plus 5 squared equals 64. So that's one way to do these if you are asked to um, just plug in numbers they give you. The other way is to write it from a graph. So here I mark my center. So the center is 0, 0. And then my radius I have to count. So if this is 4, this is 2, 4, 6, 8. So radius equals 8. I'm just counting from the center straight out to the edge. And so then my equation is x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 8 squared. And so that's x squared plus y squared equals 64. Okay, here I have to mark my own center, which is right here, because I'm counting 1, 2, 3, 4 in each direction. I check my numbers, and so my radius this time we are counting just by 1s. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the center is 2, 2. And so my equation is x minus 2 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 4 squared, which is 16. Okay. So that is writing the equation of a circle. And then the last part is to um, from the equation, find the center, find the radius, and graph the circle. And so this one, there's nothing added, so our center has to be 0, 0. So we do plot our 0, 0 there. Uh, radius is uh, 225, square root of 225. which equals 15. And so then I come, so to graph the circle here, I'm just going to mark 15 in each direction. And then just freehand as close to a circle as I can. I got a very lopsided circle there. Okay, our next one, remember the formula is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals radius squared. And so I just have to make sure to change the sign. So my center equals positive 3 and negative 2. 
because when the, we get the minus in there, that's what it is. We have to change those symbols. And so I'll go ahead and graph that. Positive 1, 2, 3, negative 1, 2. That's my center. Radius equals the square root of 16, which is 4. So from here, I'm going to count 4 in each direction. And draw my circle. Alright, so we're going to switch to Khan Academy. Okay, so it asks me to write the equation of a circle. So remember that is x minus h, y minus k equals the radius squared. And so this is my h, this is my k. And so it's going to be x minus 1.3 plus y minus negative 3.5. And then that's going to equal square root of 37 squared. So then to simplify that, I just type in my x minus 1.3 and I did something wrong there. x minus 1.3, there should be a squared button here. So I clicked on the a, b button here to show the squared. I click my over arrow to get out of that again, and then type in plus using the parentheses in my keyboard. So y minus negative becomes a plus sign, plus 3.5. I come out of the parentheses and click this again to get squared. equals square root of 37 squared just becomes whole number 37. So that is my answer. Okay. All right, this time they show the graph. And so this is my center. Okay, and this actually gets into a little harder problem, so we're going to do a little bit of the other section and come back to us. This will be our level B for whoever's ready for it. And so uh, graphing a circle is the other section that everyone will do. And so to graph the circle, I have to first find its center. And so here, the center is going to be a positive 3 and negative 3. And then the radius will equal square root of 36, which is 6. And so I'm going to come grab that center and move it to positive 3, negative 3. And then I grab the edge and move it out until I have hit 6. And so I'm checking. So from here, up 6, over 6, over 6, over 6. I check, move onward. Okay, next one again, I change the sign. So this is going to be negative 4 and positive 2. And radius again is 6. So I grab it, move to negative 4, positive 2 radius of 6. Alright, and this one is negative 6, negative 5, radius of 3 this time. Okay. 
And last one in this section, those are both negative, which means I do them both positive. So positive 3, positive 7, square root of 4 is 2, so I'll just leave that to 2. And I am finished. Okay. So now if you'd like to do the challenge problems, we're going to come back to this one, okay? This is very strongly recommended, but if you get confused, you have the option of explaining um, in your summary form why you chose to fix stop this but this so my center is uh, my center is right here so center equals the um, negative one and one which means when I'm typing it in I type in x plus 1 because that is the that is uh, changing the sign like I'm supposed to so x plus 1 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals and here to find the radius you can tell this is not if I count straight out along the lines I'm hitting a fraction so to find the radius I'm actually going to have to do Pythagorean theorem to find what that radius is and so here from 1 to negative 4 this side is 5 from negative 1 to positive 6 this side is 7, and so I do 5 squared plus 7 squared will equal my radius squared. And so 25 plus, plus 49. equals my radius squared, which makes it 74, equals radius squared. And since I want the radius squared there, I'm just going to leave it in that answer. All right, next one. Circle has a radius of 5 6 unit and is centered at 3.6 and 7.8. So this is easy when I just have to plug in my numbers. So x minus, since that's a positive number, I just keep it minus 3.6. And then y minus 7.8. equals um, so 5 6 squared means I have um, I need my fraction box of 25 over 36 just make sure to square the 5 and square the 6 and last question, write the equation of the circle graphed below. And so this one is an easier one. And so my center is at 0, 3. And so that means I do x minus 0, which simplifies to this x, y minus 3. And my radius, I can see. The only tricky thing here is we're counting by halves here. And so this is actually um, 1.5 this direction. And this is also coming to our 
and so 1.5 squared gives me 2.25. So x minus 0 squared just simplifies to x squared. And then y minus 3 squared equals 2.25. And that is the end of our circle unit.